Good afternoon, everyone. Today in this video, we're going to learn how to solve basic differential equations. And a differential equation is just an equation that involves the derivative. If you end up becoming a math or science major, you might actually take a whole class on differential equations. But here we're just going to focus on some basic ones. So to begin with, we have the differential equation y prime equals 2x. The first thing I'm going to do is rewrite this y prime as dy dx. Sometimes the types of equations we're going to be solving are called variable separable equations, meaning we want to get y on one side of the equation and x on the other. So let's do that. We'll multiply both sides by dx. And now I need to undo taking the derivative. And the way we undo taking the derivative is to take the integral or antiderivative of both sides. And the antiderivative of dy would just be y. And the antiderivative of 2x would be x squared. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. However, there is something that we can't forget here, and that is our constant. So we say plus c. So this is the general equation, or the general solution, I should say, to this differential equation. We could make specific solutions by just choosing a number for c. For example, y equals x squared plus 5 would be a specific solution to this differential equation. Notice that if I take the derivative of y equals x squared plus 5, I will get 2x. Let's take a look at another example. This one says solve f prime of x equals e of x plus 5x minus x to the 1 half power given f of 0 is equal to 8. So for this equation, I'm going to solve it by undoing taking the derivative. And the way we undo taking a derivative is to take the integral of both sides, or the antiderivative of both sides. So we're going to have f of x equals the antiderivative of e to the x would be e to the x. The antiderivative of 5x would be 5x squared over 2 adding 1 to the power and dividing by the new power. And then the antiderivative of negative x to the 1 half would be minus 2 thirds x to the 3 halves, because we add 1 to the power, and divide by the new power. And then we'd have plus c. But now we can actually solve for a specific value of c because of this piece of information right here. We know that f of 0 is equal to 8. So I'm going to substitute 0 in place of x. And we know that f of 0 is equal to 8. So I'll substitute 8 in place of f of x here. And 0 wherever I see an x. Don't just assume that this right here, 8, is our c. Sometimes that actually will be our c. Sometimes it won't. It depends on the equation. So let's see what happens here. e to the 0 we know is 1, since anything to the 0 power is 1. Oops, I forgot. I need to write a 0 in here. Let me fix this. I'm sure you already did that. So we have 5 times 0 squared over 2. That's what you get when writing and talking at the same time. You make mistakes like that. There we go. Plus uh, 0 minus 0 plus c. So I think we can see from this that c is equal to 7. So our specific solution to this differential equation is that f prime of x is equal to, and I need to copy down what we had up here to begin with, e to the x plus 5x squared over 2 minus 2 thirds x to the 3 halves plus 7. 
And that concludes this first lesson on differential equations.